Hi y'all, it's Nick here and I have a post review of, it was the Shiny Rhine from Amazon. I believe that's how I'm saying the store right. It's spelled S-H-I-N-Y-R-H-I-N-E on Amazon. And it was the Happy Campers and I would like to say Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whatever time zone that you are in that you would be watching me in. Okay, I will try to make this short and sweet. I don't like to make long videos. So I will start with um, the pros. Obviously, um, fast shipping because it was Amazon. Um, uh, it also came in even though it came in an envelope, it did also come in uh, a zippered, like a Ziploc zippered bag, which was real nice because that was an extra protection. It was $16.94. Um, I did like, as you can see over here, if you can remember from my unboxing video, or you can go back and look at my video. Their key is really tiny. There's no way I would be able to be working down here and see that up there. Or even if I had it flipped, it was still too small. So I will give them kudos with their paper ledger that was written real big, clear. Um... The M was dark, but it wasn't on the canvas, so it was just uh, the color of what it looked like on the paper. So that was awesome. Obviously, also, it was poured glue. I like that. Don't have to worry about what the creases and the air bubbles and all that horrible stuff with shipping. Okay, these are my cons but when I do all of them it's not gonna deter me from ordering from them again in the future but if there's a few problems that um, I run into I will try to give them a month or so to hopefully um, fix them and then I always give them another shot unless it's like the um, double-sided uh, adhesive and it was like beyond repairable then one shot and you're done um, there was some um, big and small sized drills I don't know if you'll be able to see real well of the different size drills that I'm talking about Um, there wasn't a whole lot of trash, but there was, um, well, right here is my trash tray, but there was the air holes, the flash pieces on the sides, um, some, most of them were just like mixed colors in the bags, the little hitchhiker ones, um, but I had enough to finish so that's all that matters to me um also in my unboxing it does say 40 by 50 and i did measure it and it's actually from bead to bead was only 35 by 45 so it's but it was written in not the description part of underneath the picture it was underneath the specifications so kudos to them because a lot of companies will advertise something like 40 by 50 and when you get it it may be the 35 by 45 but it doesn't say anything like that under their description so I will give them that as well okay um, and I don't like me, personally, I started with squares over two years ago. I don't mind doing rounds every once in a while. Um, but squares are my favorite because it does um, 
they fit tighter and you see less of the the colors or the symbols that may pop out uh, from behind the smaller drills or the um, the smaller drills and the bigger drills together and they don't connect very well. Now this I left undone on purpose because I um, have done quite a few of the poured glue and the, and this was about 95% of the canvas. Ever since I have been doing this canvas, I have been going back around and because I do have, there are some of them popping. Um, so I will seal this one and I believe this is actually going to be the first um, uh, round one I will be uh, sealing. But let me see if I could do this inside the camera because I'm actually holding the camera in one hand. Now let me see if I can get my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. Now it's not going to do it. Look how easy they move. And I'm telling you 95% of the canvas moved like that and I swear I will place these drills and about five minutes later I'll come back and they will be moved now most of the time when which I haven't had that many but you may have a spot here or there that would be like this and I always found um because I work on these throughout the day and I would leave the section open that I was working on and I may have been up doing dishes, wash, uh, putting groceries away, vacuuming, whatever the case may be. And I would come back and it would, wouldn't be um, sliding like that. And that would be because it wasn't... Um, like the the glue wasn't set correctly um, or cured or you know however you want to say it so if you left it to the air it would then not dry out but it would it would set up like I said I'm trying to do this one-handed um, so I thought this was the case but this and I left these purposely too because it's the same reason. Um, but I left this open purposely all day today because I was going back and forth. Now see, it shows it differently because I'm pushing down harder than I normally would because I'm holding the canvas so it doesn't move. But I never had that. Um... So, anyway, like I said, I had it uncovered all day because I was um, doing other things through the house. So, I was hoping that, you know, once I came back, it would, like, set better and no problem. But, no. This was, like, um, better part of the canvas. Um, so, again, like I said in the beginning, if... These are not major things that would tell me forget it. I will never order from them again because it, they're fixable. So I will go in under, because I have not posted my review yet for them on Amazon. I will post my concerns and if they will make an effort to um, fix the issue, then probably I would check back in about a month, after, you know, a month later and try another one. But, um, you know, this is my review. This is, per you know, me personally. But if anybody else has ordered from them and either had the same problems or didn't have, um, let me know. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could take the couple extra seconds, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, till next time, uh, 
stay safe, stay healthy, be kind, do kind things, especially in this world today. And remember, little things go a long way. Till next time, happy drilling, y'all. Bye.